Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the podcast. Um, a little bit an incongruous, is that how you say it? Anyway, an odd pairing today. Um, I'm going to spend the, the vast majority of the time talking about Anthony Bourdain. But because it's coming near the end of the month and I still have to squeeze in another city, so we'll do the Real Housewives of Dallas also. Um, so it is quite the odd pairing. I feel like a lot of the people who enjoy the Anthony Bourdain stuff, you know, maybe not as big on the Real Housewives and, and vice versa. So it's kind of nice. You know, it's kind of what makes the, the, the site interesting. You know, I try and find something for everybody. And, you know, whether it's old Hollywood kindness, conspiracy, you know, things like Housewives, Teen Mom, Riverdale, whatever. Because there's, it's all very fascinating. And you can't kind of just stay on, because then it just gets boring. You know, I, I, you know, it would be like if I only could write about the Kardashians for the rest of my life. You know, that would be awful. You know, you want to you want to write about something else too, and the same goes for the other. I wouldn't want to write about Anthony Bourdain every single day for the rest of my life. I would. I feel like then I would need a dose of the Kardashians or something like that, just to to offset it. But the the Anthony Bourdain thing is is fascinating to me, and I don't think that it's over. I I think that it's kind of almost just scratching the surface. Um. I think that there's actually going to be things that are found and people are going to keep looking. The one thing that I can't get over with this, with his death or a lot of others, when it comes to suicide, is just the fact that he's he was a fairly tall guy. And, you know, he used a bathrobe um, belt, apparently, on a doorknob. And I feel like uh, granted, it's a decent hotel that he was staying in. But I feel like most hotels, the doorknob would just snap off, first of all, if you put that much kind of weight on it. Second of all, how do you, like, contortion yourself into that position when you're well over six feet tall? You know, that's that's another thing. And then the bathrobe ties are not usually very, very long. And they're thick. Which means it's harder to tie a knot around a doorknob. I, I think about it. Just even if you have, um, it, it, it was probably some type of terry cloth robe, okay, with a big, big terry cloth belt. Now you can tie those into a knot. I'm not saying that you can't tie it into a knot. I'm just saying that they're big and they're awkward and they're liable to, to slip off. And. They're, they're not usually, you know, huge, the, the length in these things. So, it's just always something that's kind of stuck with me about this part, particular one. You know, and then, you know, with the Kate Spade and the Red Scott, the, the Red Scarf kind of thing. Just uh, there's some, the mixes and the matches. You know, Chester and Chris. And just the, the sheer number of people that have managed to suicide themselves or be suicided um, via a a doorknob and that. And I feel like if there was somebody else there that it would be a little bit easier to accomplish. And, you know, I'm not going to do a, a practice test or anything like that to see it. But, I mean, I do find myself looking at doorknobs. And I did find myself... Um, looking at a terry cloth bathrobe thing and tying it to several different doorknobs. And it depends what kind of doorknob it is. If it is just a regular round doorknob, that thing's coming off. Period. It just is. It's not staying on there. It's just too wide. It's not staying on there without a little bit of help. Now, if it's some kind of, you know, latch one, it could. Because it's a little bit, they're usually a little bit more narrow, and um, they'll stay. I don't know what kind of knob it was. But a regular just doorknob type thing, it's coming off. 
that much I know. Because I did do, you know, I, I tied some knots with one. And I, I, two different kinds of doorknobs. You know, maybe I'll make that my life. So if you think about like a, a Kate Spade or Lorenz Scott with the, with the red scarf, you know, at least they're thinner. And you could see them going over doorknob. Just this big, thick terry cloth thing. I know, it's a little bit tougher. So I'm going to go over a timeline a little bit later with, um, in regards to Asia, otherwise known as Asia, but her name's really Asia, um, and Tony. But basically, she was supposed to film the last two episodes um, the parts unknown with him. But she knew something was up. And she bailed on the last episode. She was just in the Italian with one with him and not France. And she said that she had um, X-Factor commitments, but she really didn't have... Um, they weren't that great. That she couldn't have been with... Um, Anthony. Anyway, um, I wrote a blind on June 8th, 2018, and it basically just said that this is when I, when I first heard that she was supposed to be there with him, and that for some reason she bailed and she used X Factor as an excuse, even though she had been with him the week before. Now, one could say this, that this is, this is a theory that she, she knew what was going to happen. And remember later, she, she pretty much, you know, she says that he was killed. Doesn't deny he was killed. Let's, let's say it like that. She doesn't affirmatively say he was killed, but she doesn't deny that he was killed. Because I'm going to talk to you later about this guy that she was seen with over and over and over again, basically to give herself some kind of cushion or to give a reason for Anthony to kill himself because of his history. He had said that he, it's very clear in his past that uh, with his first wife, that he was going to kill himself, that he just couldn't handle it, that he, he was going to kill himself. So, And he made these statements on the record. And that... He has also said that the the only person he's ever met in his life who thought about suicide more than him was Asya. So if you're ever going to suicide somebody, this is the kind of person that, you know, you're going to suicide. Somebody who talked about it and said that he almost did it a hundred times or whatever. So this one from June 8th, it says it was supposed to look like a murder-suicide. That had been the plan all along. The plan that had been in place since March. Then, as she began to get more and more attention and acclaim, suddenly her schedule was too busy, and she couldn't make it. What to do, what to do. Improvise. Do what they always do. Make it look like all the rest they had done, but also make sure they send a message to her. Apparently, they sent her a picture with no words, just the picture. I'm guessing she got the message. In the next few weeks, we'll see if she ignores the message or continues to be brave and fight the good fight. Um, I think that within three months, she had given up on fighting the good fight. And she was just basically, um, you know, she didn't deny that he'd been killed. And she just wasn't going to um, badmouth anybody who may have or may not have been behind it. That's just, in fact, she got into open war with anybody who kind of like called her out for anything. Now... They made they added a little fuel to the fire and made it a little bit harder for her with the with the whole um, Jimmy Bennett thing, right? So you know that all came out and then she really really backed down. And I've, I've talked about that kind of thing before in in a couple other cases here um, where they do this kind of thing just to get you back down, and most of the time it will get you to back down. Most of the time, it just takes a threat. So I wonder if they didn't even threaten her. They just did it because she wasn't standing down fast. Enough. Thanks, everybody, for listening. I really appreciate it. You can uh, catch my blog seven days a week, crazydaysandnights.net. 
over 100 posts, updates every single day. Uh, social media, you can find me at NT Lawyer on Instagram and on Twitter. And of course, you can subscribe to Patreon for the full episode at patreon.com backslash NT Lawyer.